Ever since there have been cameras, there have been dick pics. I actually think that there is an art to taking an amazing dick pic and making sure that it is received with love. Hi, I am sex and relationship coach Caitlin D, and today I'm going to teach you how to take the best dick pic and how to use it to entice and seduce your lucky dick pic recipient. Let's get started. Whether you are a married father of five or single and ready to mingle, you need to have a great dick pic. You need to at least have one on file. Okay, we live in a world where we are exchanging text messages and sexting and sexy and suggestive emails and you know, there's situations that just call for it. Again, if you're in a relationship and you find yourself separated from your spouse for a work trip, you might wanna send her a little pic of what she's missing. And if you are getting to know a new lucky lady over the internet, you might find yourself in a position where you're receiving some suggestive pictures of her and she expects you to send one back. Either way, it behooves you to have an amazing picture of your Johnson and I'm here to tell you, you can take an amazing dick pic no matter what your dick looks like, no matter what you look like, no matter what body type, size, shape you are. Your dick is a work of art. It is an actual unique, I was gonna say snowflake, but it's like a thumbprint, a fingerprint. Your dick is a unique dick print and it deserves a work of art that upholds its beauty. Another thing that your dick prick <laughs> Another thing that your dick pic communicates is not just how big and strong and veiny your dick is, it also tells a lot about your creativity. Think about this as a creative problem solving opportunity. You get to demonstrate to her not just your physical prowess, but also the way that you think about things, the way that you see things, your attention to detail. I actually think the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, and the way you take your dick pic is probably pretty indicative of of the kind of lover that you will be when you get together in the sack. So this is not just about sharing a great dick pic. It's also about doing it in a way that expresses yourself and who you are as a man. And gentlemen, here is the most important part. Women are not as visually driven and they tend not to be as sexually aroused by looking at pictures of genitals as men are. As a man, you might be thinking, ah, picture of genitals. Ding, 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 arousing. It might not take all that much more than just like a glimpse of vulva or even, let's be real, like a shot of a skirt and you're like, oh my God, I think I saw something, maybe not. Ah, arousing. Women, on the other hand, as a rule, not a 100% monolithic group of women, but the majority of women do not get aroused by just looking at a picture of your genitals. Now, again, that doesn't mean that we don't want to see them. It doesn't mean that women will not ask for them. It doesn't mean that we don't get excited when we see them and we don't think like, wow, cool, that's what a stick looks like. But there's a curiosity factor. There's like getting to see what's behind the veil, what's under the covers, what's below the boxers. But interestingly enough, because we are not as excited by the visual stimulus that is your genitals, the dick pic is actually part of a larger seduction technique. And in many ways, you need to keep this information in mind when you're taking a dick pic. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to make one that actually entices a woman, and it's definitely not what you're thinking. Chances are for you, you're thinking that you want to get straight to the point, right? Like here is what it looks like. Here's what I'm working with. Here's the size, the shape, the girth, the general color. Here's, here's what it is, it's very like blunt frankly, very straight to the point, very like masculine, right? Skip the foreplay, just go straight to the, the meal, the banana, the lingam, pop. But I'm here to tell you, it is about so much more than that. I have got four criteria for taking an amazing dick pic. Criteria number one is lighting. Lighting matters. Trust me, as someone who has like six light bulbs facing her at this very moment, lighting really, really, really matters. So in order to get the best lighting, you need to play around with different lighting options. So the best way I would recommend doing this is to hold up your phone and rotate in 360 degrees in every single direction and try every different possible angle 
from the light that you have, the light source that you have, whether that's a lamp or sunlight coming through a window. If you do a full 360, you should have a pretty good idea of which of the lighting options look best. Then take that same technique and try it in a different room, full 360 degrees, different lighting. Maybe this time you do overhead light and then you do a desk lamp. And then you try with the light coming in from a window during the morning versus during the evening. Lighting is so, so super important. It's the number one most important thing because if you don't have enough light, you're looking at a shadow. She's like trying to decipher what's going on. She's changing the background light of her phone. Like don't make her work for it. Just light it up and then you have to do less editing in post to make it look great. The second criteria for taking a great dick pic is angle. Again, the best way to figure out what angle your particular dick looks best at is to try in 360 degrees, only this time it's 360 degrees around your dick. Oh, I guess in this case, yeah, it's still 300, 360. At one point you're like taking a picture from behind your butt and that's, I have not seen a good dick pic that was taken from behind but I haven't seen them all. It's totally possible. The most important thing to keep in mind here is that what works for one guy in one angle and one lighting circumstance is not gonna work for every guy from every angle and every lighting circumstance. So try different angles. Hold the phone down under your dick. Hold it over to the left and the right. Try using a mirror to capture different angles still. Try closer and further away. It's worth considering here whether or not you want to include your face in your dick pic. I would recommend for anonymity's sake that you just don't include your face and make the picture of just everything from here down. But certainly if you're in a trusting relationship and you believe that this picture is gonna be safely cared for by the person that you're sending it to, feel free to include whatever incriminating information, face, birth certificate, driver's license, whatever you want. My biggest recommendation here is that you pick the angle that makes your dick look the best to you, that highlights the features that you find to be most attractive and most exciting about your dick and trying it from different angles that are more likely to be the angles that she would see if she was with you. So she's not looking at your dick usually straight down, that's how you look at it. She's more likely to see it from underneath, so you can consider that as well as you're playing around and playing with different angles. My third criteria is the background. Try not to get too much stuff in the background. A plain and simple background, like the one you see behind me, is absolutely best for taking a great dick shot. The reason for this is if you have too much clutter or other things, they actually take away from the focus, which is supposed to be of your cock. If there's a stack of books or like a pile of dirty laundry in the background, women's brains and our eyes were very diffuse. Literally, women's attention is spread, it's diffuse. That's why we can walk in and see that there's six things that are wrong with the room and or there's 11 different groceries that we suddenly wanna get even though we went in for bananas and men are in and out of the grocery store like, got the bananas, babe, because you're looking at the one thing and we're looking at everything. So keep that in mind as you consider what kind of background you're going to include for your dick shot. Going into a room or a situation where you have a nice solid floor, a bed, plain sheets, even a bathroom with like a tile background or a tub background can be a excellent background that's going to appropriately showcase your penis. Showcase your showcock. And number four criteria for taking a great dick pic is including objects for reference. So this is essentially for size reference. You know how when you see an image of something and they've put like a quarter or a dime and they've included the dime for reference so you can kind of see how big that object is? This is the exact same idea. A dick on a screen with a plain background, I have no clue what size that penis is. Like it could be six or four or 10 inches for all I know because there's nothing included for reference. So among the things that you can include for reference, number one is your hand. You can put your hand on your dick, resting on your dick, on your balls, on your thigh next to your dick. It gives us an idea of how big your dick is compared to the size 
of your hand. But you can also artfully and creatively include other things in the photograph that allow us to get a reference. That could include the zipper of your jeans, which I'll talk more about in just a second. It also could include other things that you left in the background for reference, like an iPad or a book, anything that gives us sort of like a grounding perspective that lets us know the overall size of what we're working with here is going to make your dick pic that much stronger. Now, here are two other things that are absolutely vital to keep in mind. Do not take just one picture. If you have ever followed me on Instagram, thanks, or if you've ever seen my headshot or the picture associated with my YouTube channel, like all of those literally are the result of hundreds of pictures. Hundreds of pictures were taken. In some cases, thousands of pictures are taken just to produce one that I end up sharing with you all. And so please take hundreds of pictures of your dick. Take so many pictures of your dick, take 10 times more than you think you even need. And it's not gonna end up usually being the first or the second shot. It's gonna be the 60th or the 70th. And that's why I say you only need a couple really great dick pics in the catalog, because then if multiple women require those dick pics or request them of you, then you have them ready to go and you don't have to go through the arduous process of setting up the photo shoot. Do it right once, take hundreds of pictures once, and then you'll have great pictures that you can send into perpetuity. And one more pro tip, try different levels of exposure. You know how I mentioned earlier that women are not super attracted to just seeing straight up image of genitals? Well, guess what? You can actually use this to your advantage. Instead of just doing the full naked dick pic, try doing a dick print. Show her what you look like when you're hard or semi-hard underneath your sweatpants, underneath your boxers. Show her your pubic hair sticking out under an unzipped zipper. Show her a little bit of dick that is sneaking out from your boxers. Show her all kinds of different variations of what you look like moving from semi-erect to fully erect, moving from partially naked to fully naked. This is the artistry of the dick pic, and this is what gives women something to get really interested and turned on and aroused by. We get aroused by the idea that we're not being just given full on dick. We instead want a little bit of dick. We wanna work for it, we wanna get excited about it, we want to crave it, we want to have a sense of tease and anticipation anticipation, when you just give it to us full on straight up, it kind of, you know, we like a little, it's a present, you know? Your dick in a box, you kind of want to like unwrap it. Which brings me to my last, but the most important point, which is make sure that you get consent before sending a dick pic. It has become so cliche to just receive a dick pic. I've even heard of people sending dick pics over airdrop to total strangers in the bar, which is, part of my French, it's wrong. Exposing people to your genitals against their consent is ethically and morally reprehensible. And beyond that, it shows zero respect for both yourself and your genitals and that person. For me, I think that your genitals, your dick, your cock is one of the most beautiful and interesting and delightful parts of your entire body. And you should treat it like it is gold, like it is part of your temple. And if it is gold and if it is something that you truly are honoring, you don't just bombard other people with pictures of it. Beside the fact that it shows very little respect and concern for the person who's receiving your dick pic, who may be at work, maybe sitting down with their boss, maybe getting fired, maybe finding out that their father is in the hospital, and then boom, unsolicited dick pic, it's just not cool, man. It's just not cool, knock it out. I know I don't have to tell you that because here you are watching my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, please take a second to subscribe to my channel where I will teach you how to do all kinds of amazing things you didn't even know you needed to do, like how to upgrade your dick pic game. If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up right now. It really helps. I appreciate you guys so much. You are awesome. Your dick pics are awesome. I guarantee that with this information, you can absolutely slay the dick pic game and the women who really are excited about receiving your dick pics will be so excited to see how you have up leveled. That's it for me. I'm Caitlin B. Thanks for tuning in. Mwah.